we want to evaluate each expression for the given values and then we'll check our answers on the calculator. So here we have x to the power of negative two times y to the third for x equals four and y equals four. So substitute four for x and y, so we'd have four raised to the power of negative two times four raised to the power of positive three. We're fortunate here because notice how we're multiplying and the bases are the same, so we can add the exponents applying this property here. So this is equal to the base of four raised to the power of negative two plus three. Well, negative two plus three is equal to one, so we have four to the first, which is just equal to four. Checking on the calculator, we have four raised to the power of negative two, right arrow, and then four raised to the power of positive three, enter, verifying our answer. For our next expression, we'll substitute negative three for v and four for w. So that's going to give us four times negative three to the negative third power times four squared. Now simplifying here, notice how we have four to the first here and four to the second here. So we can multiply those two and add the exponents. Let's do that first. So we'd have four raised to the power of one plus two, that's four to the third, times negative three to the power of negative three. Now we'll write this using positive exponents, so let's we'll create a fraction. And now if we move negative three to the power of negative three down to the denominator, it'll change the sign of the exponent. So this will give us four to the third divided by negative three to the power of positive three. Well, four to the third is equal to 64, and negative three to the third is equal to negative 27. So our simplified expression is the fraction negative 64 27ths. Normally we do not leave the negative in the denominator. Going to the calculator now, we have four times negative three raised to the power of negative three, right arrow times four raised to the power of two or four squared, enter, and math enter, enter, verifies our answer. For our next expression, we'll substitute three for w and two for p. So inside the parentheses, we'd have four times three divided by p, which is two. This is raised to the power of negative two. Simplifying inside the parentheses, we have 12 divided by two raised to the power of negative two. 12 divided by two is equal to six, so we have six to the power of negative two. Converting to a positive exponent, we create a fraction with a denominator of one, and if we move six to the power of negative two to the denominator, this is equal to one over six raised to the power of positive two, or six squared, which gives us one thirty-sixth. Checking our answer, we have open parenthesis for the fraction, another open parenthesis for the numerator, and then we have four times three, close parenthesis, there's the numerator, and then divided by two, there's the denominator, close parenthesis for the entire fraction, and then raise the power of negative two, enter, and then math, enter, enter. Verifying our answer, and now for our last expression, we have p equals negative three. So we'd have in the numerator four times negative three raised to the power of negative two divided by two. Simplifying inside the parentheses, notice how we'd have negative 12 to the power of negative two divided by two. And now to write this using positive exponents, we'd have to move negative 12 to the power of negative two down to the denominator, which is going to give us a numerator of one. Our denominator is now two times negative 12 raised to the power of positive two, or negative 12 squared, which is equal to one over negative 12 squared is equal to 144, 
So our denominator is two times 144, which is equal to 288. This is the value of our expression. So we have a numerator of four times negative three. This is raised to the power of negative two. Right arrow divided by two, enter, and math, enter, enter, verifies our answer. I hope you found this helpful.